Welcome to the weekly vlog, you guys. Hello, happy Sunday or whatever day it is when you're watching this. My name's Adele. If you are new here, I post three to four videos a week, actually, now that I think about it. I hope that you stick around to the end. I hope that you like my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. You guys are my favorite people in the world. I swear, we're like best friends. We're family, actually. Anyway, we are in for another weekly vlog. It's Saturday and we are going to the beach. Oh, I forgot to say, if you haven't, click subscribe. Subscribe will be somewhere here. Yeah, oh yeah, click it. Please subscribe and let's get ready because we're going back to the beach and we're gonna take Franklin, who's very tired after his adventure last night. None of my bikini tops fit me because this keeps happening. <coughs> I haven't got my period yet. Uh, okay, I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna rock it. I'm try not to pay attention to my own body today. A part of me is like, can you be fucked even going? Cause I just feel like shit today. But I think once I get in the water, I'll feel better. I'm wearing this really old Princess Polly stripy play suit. It's so cute. See, like it's, it's really cute. It's one of those things that I rewear every summer. But let's go get Franklin ready and jump in the car. We are at the beach. I don't know if you can tell through the window, but it is open past as fuck. And there's actual full blown waves. It's never really choppy here. Cause it's like a bay, but let's go. We'll go find the fam. I think Carl is here too. And a little Franklin slept the whole way. He was really, really tired. What a good boy. You slept the whole way. I've got my Crocs on. I'm gonna decorate them on the beach today. Can you see how windy and choppy and overcast it is? It's still hot though. He's so excited. <laughs> Kyle is here. <laughs> and Mel's here. And this is Jake. This is my hey! sister Adele. How are you? It's actually quite nice, even though it's a bit overcast and windy. The sun's not out yet, and I realized I forgot my fucking hat, but that's okay. I'll just stay under the umbrella. I think I might have a nap, so I'm really tired. I'm going to decorate my crocs now. This is the before, and I'll show you the after in a second. I've just roughly placed them out. I'm trying to balance the colors. See how there's some green on both, pink on both, yellow on both, white on both? I picked them for a reason. The only one I can't find a place for is this one. I think it's too dark for the rest of them. I feel like it, it doesn't fit the vibe. Maybe it could go on there, actually. I don't know. Anyway, let me put them in. Here is the final product. They are actually so hard to stick in. I think I need something else here, but overall, I'm very very happy with them. How cute are they? Our Eski mum made rolls. Thank you, mum. The sun has not come out at all, but I did go for a swim. It's really hot still. I would rather be here than at home. Gentle, gentle. Good boy. We are leaving now. It is about 4 p.m. So I'm happy to call it a day. I think I need to go home and just keep my own company because I was getting a bit snappy with mom and dad. Honestly, period's coming tomorrow, I think. Little Frank is really hot, but I've just put the AC on and we might stop at that Macca's, let him out for a wee and get a snack. I'm at that giant BP on the East Link, I think. I got a Calibro. Mr. Franklin's gonna have some. I took him into the BP with me and then the guy's like, Franklin, Adele. <laughs> Hi. He follows me on TikTok. He looks shocked. He's like, what are you doing here? I said, oh, well, we're coming back from the beach. Mm, this is a good idea. All right, let's go home. He literally snoozed the whole way. I love you. Let's open the garage. I'm home. My bag broke. It's like the hole, the opening came too wide. Not that I ever overfilled it. And I can't fix it because on the inside, it's like lined. But anyway, plan is... Feed Franklin dinner, jump in the shower, get into editing because I need to wrap the vlog up from last week and wrap the podcast up for tomorrow. I think I've done not bad editing this week or well, last week and I feel like a Macca's dinner. Couldn't help myself, had to pick that fucking pimple. Why did I do that? Why? Nothing like a good shower after the beach to make you feel good. I'm ordering Uber Eats right now because it's 7.50. Also low key, high key annoyed because menu log, my Uber Eats doesn't have Maccas, only menu log does. And I fucking hate menu log. I'm so sorry if anyone works at menu log that's watching this, but your app sucks. Your customer service sucks even more. And <laughs> every single time I've ordered from there, the driver has either not delivered my food at all, tried to deliver it, said they couldn't find me even when I've been on the street <laughs> waiting. And the other time the order was wrong. Like they gave me someone else's whole wrong order. So we're going to do, we're going to do not Maccas. Guys, I don't know what's going on, but I'm on the verge of tears. I've only just ordered dinner and it is 10 PM. I have been sitting in front of my computer for the last 
three hours. I'm trying to match the video and the audio from the podcast that I recorded during the week. I recorded two on Tuesday. The AMA episode, I matched up easily. It's good to go. Tomorrow's episode, which I recorded on Tuesday, is not matching up. And I don't know if the studio has fucked with the audio or if it's my computer. And I think I'm going to have to publish the podcast tomorrow without video. I'm laughing because if I don't laugh right now, I'm probably going to burst into tears. So yeah, that's, that's lovely. <laughs> And you know what I've got stuck in my head? Oh, Mickey, you're so fun. You know that TikTok? Okay, I'm not insane. Watch what happens. Talking and the mouth doesn't match up, but watch it change. One of the things that may be a sign of self, you might be hiding your body. See, it fixes itself. Get the help of people around me. I'm really annoyed, but at least I know I'm not going insane. There is something wrong with this audio. So I'm making the executive decision to just do audio only for this episode, which I'm fucking pissed off about because it's the body image one. God, I wish I had like someone to help me right now. I'm not in a good headspace to have this crisis. It's okay. We've got food coming. I think once I eat, I should get a burst of energy, hopefully. We're gonna get this done tonight. My food's here. It's literally 10.30. I just got a whole heap of dumplings, which I'm gonna fill with the TikTok and then I will come back and eat a little bit with you guys. Dumpling galore over here. <laughs> I really like this place. It's the local Chinese place that I got that Chinese from last time. I really like these. These ones are my favorite. That light's so bright. Why is it overexposing me like that? Mm. As if it didn't get any worse, I've just figured out why the audio was fucked. Because there's a chunk, there's like four minutes of footage missing from the audio, which is an important part of the episode. It's midnight. I'm actually going to have to record it now into my computer and just chuck it into the potty. I'm actually fucking shook. Tonight has been really fucked up, guys, and I just need to go to bed. I'll see you in the morning after a good sleep. I'm sure I'll feel better. Potty's ready to go and it's 2 a.m. Good morning, you guys. We slept together last night. It was nice. And I'm feeling a bit better compared to last night. I was in a bad mood yesterday. Sorry about that. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going to finish the vlog and then we're going for a walk because i got to sort my mental health out. I'm just not a full vibe. We're going to make a coffee first. Should we have a coffee? Did you have a sleep? He's so tired after the beach. And the little Friday night pub. All right, so I've had my coffee finished. I've just put on some activewear. It's literally midday, but we're just going to head out for a walk. I'm going to take Franklin. I don't know how long he'll walk for. He's staring at me right now because I put his collar on. But I just need to like clear my mind because I've just been sat in front of the computer for the last, I don't know, two, one and a half hours. But at least the vlog is done. I'll see you when we're back. I suspected he did not really want to walk with me, which is totally fine, Franklin. I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm now making breakfast for lunch. It's, it's well and truly past lunch time now that the vlog's all done and uploaded like it's still uploading at the moment i feel like i can relax i really have fucked my sleep schedule <gasps> you're kidding me we have no yogurt i gotta go to the shop i'll be right back the quick trip guys i do seriously need to do the grocery shopping i just didn't have the mental capacity to do it today i feel like and i was thinking this while i was driving to the shop I just need to like cry. I think I need to put on a sad movie and cry. Maybe then I'll feel better. Maybe this is the new pill. I don't know. Or maybe I've just, I've got a lot of stress on my plate. Probably both. See, look, fridge empty. We will fill that up. Better late than never. I just tried to call my mum. Every time I ring her, she doesn't answer her phone. That's why she's not allowed to be the emergency contact on anything because she never answers her fucking phone. But I've called the vet as well and I've made Franklin an appointment for Friday. Come here, let's show them your ears. He's actually losing hair. Can you see that, guys? It's really, really bad. It doesn't seem to be bothering him. Like, he's 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 not bothered at all. I'm the one that's bothered by it. So the earliest the vet could see me was Friday. And this is the same vet that we've been going to. I don't think he's in pain, though, so that makes me feel better. It's 3.30 now. I feel like I've wasted today. Isn't that bad? I can't just, like, do nothing and chill. I'm doing my washing because I haven't done that at all. I'm just going to wash the clothes today and I'll do the sheets tomorrow. I want to get back to weekly washing of the bed sheets. <laughs> We're going to Macca's. Mum and dad are home. No one can be fucked cooking. I secretly have one. Wanted Macca's since last night, so I said I'll drive, I'll get it. Can I please get the McFavorites bundle? Two Coke No Sugars and two standard Cokes. Yes, yeah, sweet and sour, please. Yep. As an extra, can I also get two extra Big Mac sauces as well? Right, guys, I asked for two Big Mac sauces and she put two Big Macs on the screen. I said, no, I need the sauces. And she's like, okay, and then she fixed it up. She's like, that's all good, and I paid, but the screen didn't change. Okay, they're making me wait for the food. Now I'm worried that I've got two Big Macs when I just need the sauce. They got the order right and they left me a little surprise in the bag. I'll show you when we get home. Let's have a look. 
We love you, MPM. That's so cute. I need to take a photo of that. Guys. <laughs> oh my God. Yum though. Have a quick shower and do my skincare, get into some comfy clothes and watch the men's final tennis. Also, a uh, hot tip, if you have short hair, don't buy this. I, I got influenced off TikTok and I was going to put it in my next monthly favorites, but I just need to tell you now. It doesn't look good on short hair. I look like the fucking Statue of Liberty. It only looks nice on that long, luscious hair, which I don't have. Quickest skincare. We're going to go watch. I'm excited. I thought that we might have been up much later, but it's only 11.30, which is still pretty late for me because I do go to bed much earlier, usually. But now that the Australian Open's finished, I got my retainer in. Sorry about the lisp. Now that it's finished, I feel like I can sort my sleep out. Anyway, I'm feeling okay about the week ahead. I'm feeling better knowing that I survived last week with the editing and workload and I still, I pretty much had Wednesday off and I pretty much had Friday off as well. So that's two days during the week and I don't have events this week to go to. So I feel like I'm gonna be okay. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. We're gonna kill Monday and we're gonna start the week strong. Good night. Good morning, you guys. Oh my goodness. I had the best sleep. It's late. It's 8 o'clock. I've slept in, but not as badly as I thought I would. We are going to sort out our sleep schedule. I also am happy to report my period is coming. I am going to go and do a workout, and I reckon I'm going to feel very weak in the gym today because that's usually what happens. I feel really strong the week before my period, so it's actually good to start the new program last week. Oh, coffee is so good. Oh, Franklin's just run in here. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. I'm coming back to life. It's sheet day guys i was like oh maybe i should wash the car no we're just washing the sheets and our hair today we can wash the car another day my energy levels are a bit flat if you will but we persevere i just want my boobs to go down i just want to stop feeling like so Ugh. i just sat in my car for literally 15 minutes and i was like get the fuck up bitch get inside i will feel better after the workout repeat after me i will feel better after this workout I feel a million times better. I nearly left my phone in the gym. I like walked out and left my phone on a machine. <laughs> I'm now at Coles. I need to quickly run in and get some bread rolls for lunch. Okay, look at this. I got the new musk chocolate. I got the new smooth hazelnut and then mint cookies and cream because dad and I and mum will do some reviews. Got the bread rolls, but I'm really hungry. So let's go get some breakfast in us. Breakfast. I have a very quick recommendation. I keep forgetting to tell you guys, and this is not an ad, although I would love to do an ad with them because I think they're chef's kiss, but I have a bank account with UpBank. There's like this little secret savings game that they've got where every week they prompt you to save an amount and it puts it into a separate bank account for you within your bank account. It has down the bottom, you can kind of see. And so I always typically try to do the biggest amount. So I'm gonna go $28, you hold it down. All done for this week and you can see down the bottom how much I've saved I've saved three hundred and eighty four dollars over 18 weeks that's how many times I've been doing it and I'm due to finish it on the 24th of September and that should save me a thousand dollars by the 24th of September without really noticing and they really encourage good spending habits so that's why I wanted to put that in there anyway I'm gonna quickly eat now and then we are gonna get into some work I don't think I'm gonna shower I think I'm gonna work in active wear because I'll go for a walk as well after lunch mm. so I have organized all the podcast recordings for February, replied to all my YouTube comments, replied to all my emails. I am working on a secret project, which is coming soon. And I've got a meeting at 3.30. It is now 1.50 and we're gonna have lunch. Let's go do that. We're still waiting for all the washing to finish. I haven't been to the laundromat yet. Also haven't been for a walk, but I think the plan is let's just eat first and then we'll go from there. Oh my God, our biggest garden haul of cucumbers. I'm gonna use it to make my roll now. There's heaps more, but they weren't quite ready. But look how many we got. I cannot believe it. The cucumber from the garden. Listen to how crunchy it is. Delicious. I also put the cucumber down first today because it usually slides around everywhere. Mmm. Fresh roll was a good idea. I'm feeling better in terms of like productivity and routine. This is so good. I can't wait to chat to my manager. I went for a quick 
walk guys and then I had a shower and I just put on this tee I've never worn it before it's from Elite 11 and then I put on my ect shorts you know why because my stomach's starting to hurt and so is my back and I just didn't want to wear denim shorts I'm about to log on now for my meeting with M about the journal I've got five minutes before that straight after there we're going to the laundromat PO box we're going to pick up dad's jeans <laughs> he got them altered he gave me money as well we're gonna go past Kmart because I want to see if I can buy a new beach bag the journal meeting went so well we're getting there fucking love you em thank you for your help you're amazing and we are now at the shop so i've got to quickly run everything's at the laundromat in the dryer i did end up getting a chiller i also had to get some breadcrumbs and then i picked up dad's jeans for him i think my phone's in that bag and then i bought another beach bag i've gone i've come back laundromat all my washing's done and I like that it's not as rushed as how I usually do things. And look, mum has cooked a fucking feast. Let me show you. It smells so good, guys. We have some pork. Did you do that in the air fryer? I did. Pork sensor, potatoes. Everything looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I've given you a tour of Franklin's crate, but basically it's just this metal thing and then there's a plastic bottom in here. And I've actually covered it with, there's one light blanket and then another thick black blanket around the top. I washed this just now but I've got a large fluffy one and I kind of just pop that in at the bottom. This works better than a bed in here because he likes to wrap around and like roll around. Have a look I put a new blanket in for you. Oh <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck and then this is his other blanket which I usually put in as well just like this and that's what I cover him with. I always get hay comments about the fact that he's crate trained. He loves his crate. He doesn't get out of it some mornings. I'm gonna quickly make my bed and then get into the Ask Me Anything because it's Monday. <laughs> It'll be nice when I sleep tonight. I had to change my upcoming nail and hair appointment because I had booked them for a day and then I've had an event come up. I'm just rescheduling those. <gasps> Take, it's taking me 10 minutes to make this bed. I'm proud of myself. I've completed AMA by 9 45 which is fantastic i'm gonna quickly wash my hair and we're gonna have an early bedtime guys i'm so happy right now fresh bed fresh hair not panicking about getting up early and recording the potty tomorrow what i'm doing this week is recording on thursday i don't want to record too far in advance because i like to record close to it going live it just feels better i feel more in touch with you guys i think what's what i'm realizing is once sam is back i definitely need more help with the podcast I don't know if that's moving studios or hiring my own producer or hiring a separate podcast editor. I don't know. Yeah, I've just got a lot, a lot to process. I already feel a lot better compared to yesterday and this morning. This vlog has had a rough start, but I feel like we're on the upward trajectory. All right, sweetest dreams. I'll see you nice and early. Happy Tuesday, guys. I've just woken up at 7 a.m. My retainer snapped. I've got no words. I must have clenched it really hard last night. I need to call a different dentist. I'm not going back to the dentist who gave me the splint. This morning we are filming content for Good Life Gym, which is so cool. So I'm actually promoting their classes, which I like classwork at gyms. My gym doesn't actually offer any classes. And so this morning I'm doing a yoga class and I'm going to make some content for them. Excited to be working with the gym. It's cool because you guys know the gyms. The gym is a big part of my life. I think classes are a cool way for somebody to get into it if they're not comfortable to go by themselves yet. And I think it's a good collaboration. <laughs> I want to say good morning to everybody. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but do you remember how we had those guys here that day doing their stuff in the roof with the insulation? They're now at my neighbor's house doing the same thing. And I want to go over and ask the neighbors if they had the same problem or if they just saw them here and then they called them. Don't know if you can hear it super loudly, but I can just hear it. I am going to quickly go for a little walk because I've got some time to kill. I don't have to be at the class for another like hour and a bit. Did a quick walk. I'm going to quickly eat as well. And then we will head off. We have berries from the garden today. It makes me so happy. I love when the berries are from the garden. I'm excited to go do this content. Anxiety, guys. I just couldn't find the place, but I found it. My maps was taking me somewhere else. I'm back home now. It is 
nearly lunchtime. I was filming everything on here because my collab with Good Life is through stories. And unfortunately for me, my storage runs out halfway through the fucking class. And I felt like an obnoxious asshole because I was the only one in there with the tripod. And the instructor knew, everyone that worked at Good Life knew, but before the class started, I just said to the five other people in there, hey guys, like my name's Adele. I'm working with Good Life today. I am filming content. I will not be filming any of you. I'm just filming myself. I was in like the back corner of the room, but I had to keep getting up to turn my camera on and off. And I just wish there was a remote so it could have been a bit more subtle. The content has been sent off. I read the brief 50 times because I don't want to make a mistake. I think it will get approved and posted today. I do need to make lunch. I'm so happy I ate breakfast before I left because I would not have I would not have been good. I have to do work on the journal after I eat and then work on the other secret project. I don't know if I told you guys, but I am going to the dentist at three o'clock today. So I'm having lunch now. The cucumbers from the garden are so fucking good. I'm just raw dogging them. Who eats cucumber like this? Not me usually, but it's so fresh. I didn't want to waste it. I actually cut half and used half in the roll. And then Franklin and I ate the rest of it. We're gonna eat, I think I'm gonna work and then shower right before the dentist. I don't want to go to the dentist being sweaty. I freaking love this roll. The bread's from yesterday. I prefer fresh bread, like same day bread. <laughs> I'm so excited about the journal. To give you an idea of like what to expect, it is a starting place for somebody who wants to start journaling, who doesn't know where to start, who needs that guidance. Oh, it's just so jam packed. And I want to blurt out more things, but I'm like, fuck, shut your mouth because we just need to get it done, finalized. In a way, I'm so grateful that we had that meeting with the supplier last week. I was grateful anyway, we needed to have it, but they are very much like, yeah, you can do whatever you want, like very chill. I needed some like clear direction from them. So did M. And then M's just like taking the reins and she's like, we're fucking getting this done. I'm just really happy. But I am going to quickly jump in the shower because it's 2.27. I'm going to be at the dentist at three and quickly put on something more appropriate. I am braving it today because I've got white linen shorts on. See, they're like white linen. These are so old and no makeup because they're probably going to make me do that shit again. Good news, my good life content is approved and posted. Bad news, I need a filling. I got a checkup clean and a new retainer. The new retainer was also really expensive. That money that I paid for it is coming out of my emergency fund. A lot of the times when I do it, ask me anything, people ask me, what do you spend your emergency money on? Something like that. I do have a dentist fund where I put $50 a fortnight or a month away just to like keep a bit of a buffer there. But I only had about $400 in that account. And then my retainer was like another two or 300 on top it's actually quite expensive to get top and bottom and i just thought i'm gonna get new ones top and bottom because i didn't want the not broken one to be outdated and then that one break in like a year's time i'll just start fresh and the dentist is actually giving me two copies so he said this should last you even longer and that old retainer lasted me about five years and i wore it every night so when i divide the cost per wear it works out but yeah a little bit painful to the bank account anyway we're doing groceries so i need to hurry up and go because it's 5 p.m i was in the dentist for an hour and a half between checkup clean getting the retainer and I was like shaking while they were doing the clean it's so painful while they do the clean I don't like the clean even the clean fucking scares me back home guys almost did all the stuff on the list I did leave the list here as well there's a few things that I'll have to get tomorrow but I'm gonna quickly film a haul for TikTok I don't know if you guys can see those red dots I was squeezing my own hand at the dentist because I was so scared and I left all these fucking marks red marks I'm gonna shred the chicken now Stop swearing. hi dad Hello. how was your day very good I can't get enough of this this is definitely becoming one of my favorite things oh, perfect for the summer's time not much effort required Mum and dad really go all out with theirs. I'm a basic bitch, but this reminds me of like a HSP. Many moons ago, I dated this guy and he had a um, Mexican restaurant and I used to work there. And after the Mexican restaurant, we'd go to the kebab shop at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And I'd always get a HSP with chips, cheese, and sweet chili, chicken HSP. So get on it guys. And that's how mine looks, <laughs> smashy. No, what's the word? Slay. It's bedtime for Mr. Franklin. I don't know why, but I'm like a sad girl tonight. I feel like that dentist experience today was almost like I had worked myself up so much in the chair while I was getting the clean because it was like she really hurt me while doing the clean. I haven't had a clean be that painful in a long time. 
My teeth are like very sensitive. So this one is bleeding. I do have my old retainer in, the cracked one. It feels loose. It doesn't feel as tight as it used to. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna wait until that comes back. I'll wear this one till then. I feel physically exhausted. My jaws are a little bit sore because I was like that for like an hour today. And then tonight I just watched maths, which is like the first night I've watched. It started yesterday and I don't think I'm gonna get into it too much, but I just wanna know who everyone is at the start. And that way I can follow the commentary for the rest of the season, if that makes sense. I was messaging Steph, I'm like, I can't wait for your commentary on Jesse, that guy Jesse, cause he's just screaming red flags. But I just think to myself, wow, maths is like the dating world, current dating world on steroids on, on TV. <laughs> Oh, speaking of dating world, I don't have any date updates for you guys. I did get an ask me anything question last night and it wasn't a hateful message. It was like, are you on hinge while dating Sydney guy? And I just want to make it very clear guys. I'm single. I am not seeing anybody. I am very, very single. And so, yeah, I have been going on dates with Sydney guy. I've been on two with him, one in November or December and one last week, which is a long time between dates. I'm also not going to be like, yes, you're mine. I'm never going to talk to any other guys ever again. Like, I would like to find a partner. And I don't know how that, what that looks like or who that is yet. I'm feeling it out, sussing it out. I think what's unfortunate for the men I date is I share fucking everything online with you guys. So I haven't had it be an issue. Not one of the guys I've dated have said, oh, I saw you went on another date, blah, blah, blah. A guy literally saw my TikTok on Friday night of me going on a date with this other guy and asked me out on a date. For some guys, it's not going to be a turn off that I vlog my life and then I talk about dating. I would argue that I'm doing exactly what everyone else is doing. They're just not talking about it online. And I would say all of the guys that I've been dating have probably been dating other women too. And that's okay. We haven't had an exclusivity conversation. And yeah, that's just where we're currently at. I just want to clarify that. I know that most of you are on board for the dating tales. <laughs> good night. I'll see you in the morning. We're going to get up early tomorrow. I will see you guys then. I was going to say, I hope you have a good sleep. What am I saying? I think I need to get a new one of these because look, I put a hole in it. Apparently they only last like six months. I'm really rambling. <sighs> Sweet dreams, guys. Love you. Pinch punch first day of the month. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy February. What the fuck? As if it's February. Anyway, guys, I'm going to quickly get ready and head to the gym. I actually have a fucked morning. I've got to come back, get ready, film content, and jump on a meeting by 10 o'clock. It's 7 a.m., so we're doing a wrap. My period pain's quite bad today, which is weird. It's, like, delayed. I love you. I love you so much, Frank. We are ready, guys. Let's go. I'm trying to, like, superset everything so I can hurry up, get home, and get ready. I'm shooting the content for Just Jeans this morning, which I'm really excited about. I just want to, like, nail it. I was really happy with myself yesterday with the Good Life one because no mistakes, instantly improved, and it's just a nicer experience for me, for my manager, and my client when I do it properly the first time. The gym is empty at the moment, as you can see. I hate this machine, not the vibe, because what's will happen? I have to lean down on it and it hurts my boobs. I just don't like it. Not even caring about the fact that I just got home. This is what we like. Well played, Franklin. Look at that, guys. Not even two weeks and he's over it. He's over it. Good job. Howard, mum does not work Wednesday, so she's off to get her hair done. I think I've got time to quickly do my makeup and shoot this content. So I'm gonna hustle. I'm gonna hustle and I'm gonna put you on charge. I'm actually staying in the outfit the last outfit that I put together. It's so cute. I love these jeans. I just need to show you because the design is really, really cute. Can you see these cute pockets? Really comfy fit, really flattering. They're wide leg. They're not like choking me, which I fucking love. Just need to add some necklaces on now. I have two minutes before I need to log onto this meeting. So that's what I'm gonna do. Meeting is done. I'm having brekkie you guys. We've just got the usual. Love Em so much, honestly. She's so cute. Sounds like a helicopter. It's a little light plane. It's very low. I always get scared when I see planes or helicopters so low like that. I am in a bit of pain. I actually had to take some Panadol. So I've got to quickly eat so that it's like not on an empty stomach. Although I think I should have eaten first. Mm. It was hot this morning and I feel like it's just gotten cold. I'm also about to measure Franklin because I'm getting him some custom jumpers from this really cute place. And mommy's gonna measure you. Yes, she is. I got treaties. I got treaties. Good job. We'll quickly just measure your neck. One sec, one sec, one sec. Good boy. Oh, he's realized if he just sits still. You're a big boy. Yep. Oh, wait, he wants a treat for that. Gentle. <laughs> that was not gentle. Good boy. Comes back from a hair appointment. Beautiful. 
Thing. Stunning. Okay. What are you doing? That's not safe. You gotta, you gotta get off. Just got some deliveries to the house. This one here is from William Bear. It's a cup holder. It's for dad. The brand saw that I got him a Yeti and they fucking sent me a cup holder. That's so cute. And then go to sent us some sunscreen, some face hero and a cleanser. What I'm gonna do is put this into one of the giveaways. I'll be keeping these unless mum wants it because mum's looking at me right now. No, that's all right. <laughs> What's, the, what's these? Oh, I think I've got these. I've got both of those. My lunch looks questionable, but it's the leftovers from last night. Almost tastes better the next day. Mm, it does always. What the hell? Mm. I think we need to go to the PO box because mm. I gotta have a break. I've just been going hard for the last fucking four hours, but I'm getting shit done, which is good. I'm very happy about that. Look what's happened. She put chocolate sauce again, guys, and it's all infused. I just made a TikTok about it. I'm scared to post it in case I get hate. But what bothers me is there's only been two occasions where it's come with chocolate sauce. If it was made with chocolate sauce, I would ask them not to put any on. But from the get-go, there was never any chocolate sauce. It's been just two random occasions. And I just feel like the chocolate sauce infiltrates the rest of the taste. Like, I can't even taste the Oreo part now. It tastes just like a chocolate thick shake or a milkshake. And I'm on my period still, and I'm sensitive. All right, so if I want to fucking have a cry about it, I'm going to have a cry about it. Anyway. I did get some beautiful jewelry from Jazz Handmade. I did do an unboxing on TikTok. I'll very quickly show you guys. I got some earrings and I got giveaway boxes because I've got to post the giveaway prize because Jordan won the YouTube giveaway last week. Congrats, Jordan. But now we're going to go home and I'm going to just drink to like here. I've planned out the two potty apps that I'm recording tomorrow. I'm recording at what time? I'm recording at 11 a.m. Slay, that's a good time. I'm glad I booked that, which is perfect. And I'll do an Ask Me Anything and the Sunday episode all in the one. And hopefully we don't have any issues with our fucking audio this time. I did ask them about it. I don't know if I told you guys, but they were investigating it. Anyway, dinner's ready. So let's go. I'm really sore from the yoga. Oh, it smells good. Yum, look at this. We haven't had this in a while. Mm. <gasps> guys, we're having salakis. Fresh onion, tomato, lettuce. Is the meat in here? Okay. Yes, please. And look who's back, guys. Carla. Hi. Oh, look what we made, guys. These are our faves. I actually bought them a while ago. I forgot about them. I think I told you on TikTok, but highly recommend them. Cheesy bite. And look what I did. Dad's not home from work yet. I don't like touching the oily wrap, so that's why I did it like that. Thank you, Mum. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. With a mouthful of food, sorry. <laughs> Good night, you guys. I did not plan properly this week because I'm having a slight meltdown. It's Wednesday, I've done no editing. <laughs> Pretty much finalized the journal design today. I'm working on another project, which you'll know about very, very soon, I promise. And both of those, I guess, top priority. The editing is still top priority, but in my mind, I'm like, I can do the editing when I'm half asleep at like midnight, right? But this stuff I needed my brain for, like I needed brain power. And then I also had to film the content for Just Jeans. I had to edit that to send it off. That took a little longer than I anticipated today. Same as yesterday with Good Life. And yeah, I'm just low key starting to panic, but I think tomorrow as soon as I'm done recording, I'll come home and edit. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna make it. I'm also contemplating catching the train to the studio because it might be quicker than driving and I could work on my laptop. Really good idea, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. All right, sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, Franklin. I slept in. I probably needed it. <laughs> I underestimated how much the yoga would hit me. But anyway, we're gonna have a rest day. We're gonna get ready and head to the potty studio. I don't know what I should do with my hair because tomorrow we're going to the theater. So I want fresh hair tomorrow. I wanna wash my hair tomorrow. Maybe a bun or maybe we can curl it. We are ready. This is the universal sign for her hair is dirty as fuck. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, we're gonna head off. Here's the little vibe. I did get ready with me on TikTok. I thought it was gonna be late, but I'm actually running on time. So let's head to the studio. I nearly left without eating breakfast. What the fuck? Too busy worried about my get ready with me. And I nearly left without the charger. I have two chargers that look almost identical. Just the cord is a difference in length. It's the charger for the camera. I don't know where the other ones come from. Maybe for like the LED light or something. I don't know. 
They're doing roadworks and so I had to park so far away. I should have fucking caught the train today. And all the parking around the studio is like permit. There's not that many like one hour or two hour parks. But you're gonna be all right. On the way here, my manager called me. So I had like a mini meeting with her. Productive day so far, guys. I'm glad I wore this because it's always freaking hot in here. Always. Oh, there's my pen. I always lose my pens because I move them around. I just asked them what happened to the audio last week and it might've been like a corrupt file because the only way that could have happened is if I muted myself. Oof, that's overexposed, but I definitely didn't mute myself. So I guess we just have to hope it doesn't happen again. Bit annoying, but it is what it is. I'm gonna start with the Sunday episode today because Sunday episode is about Valentine's Day. It's not heavy, emotionally taxing, if that makes sense. Like it's still got elements of it, but it's kind of a lighter episode. And then we'll do the AMA at the end. I'll see you guys then. We are done. I went way over the recording time. It's 12.40. I was meant to be out of here at 12 o'clock. I didn't start recording until 11.30. Anyway, let's head home. I've quickly come past Northland because I want to get my beauty loot box and stuff for the giveaway. So we're going to do that, grab lunch, go home, and get back into editing and work. I'm literally in the drive-thru of KFC, just getting a quick lunch. It's 2.30. I have to eat now so I can go home and get into editing. Hi, can I please just have an original recipe burger just by itself, please? Yeah, anything else? That's all, thank you. Oh, okay. thank you. Thanks. It's giving mukbang, and I'm scared to eat in my car. It's my first time properly eating in, in here. We're not gonna make a mess. That's the plan, quickly eat, quickly go home. I don't feel sick if I just have a burger. I feel sick from KFC when I eat like the chips and the gravy and everything else. This will be enough for my lunch. Don't tell my mum, probably kill me because we have leftovers. I just went to Mecca and then I got all the stuff for the giveaways. I'll show you when we pack the giveaways. I went into Chic and I almost bought this dress. <gasps> There's a stray cat. I'm in the car park of KFC. I didn't end up buying the dress because it was like a poo brown color. It was like this color. Not the vibe. It was a beautiful cut, not the color. I'm um, just like that. We're done. We are really gonna drive home now. Look what I came home to guys. TikTok sent me a summer present with Sunny Life and it's Noughts and Crosses towel. What the hell? That's actually the freaking cutest. This is what we're having tonight. Garlic prawns and I made mum and I the drink that is not alcoholic. Cheers. <laughs> oh, what about me? Oh, I'm looking forward to this meal. We haven't had it for a while. You're so funny. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, beautiful girls. We quickly just went past Westfield after dinner and I bought this bag, guys. It's from Betts. It's just so cute. The last two times I went in there, I saw it and I was like, it could be a vibe with this fit. Mum bought some shoes for tomorrow night and now I'm going to get back into some editing. Maths is on and I really want to watch it, but I just need to finish this fucking editing tonight because, yeah, I won't sleep if I don't get it done. Say goodnight, Mr. Frank. I'm really pissed off. I edited another podcast episode and the same fucking thing happened with the audio. This time it happened at like the 24th minute, right towards the end of the podcast. Hang on, wait, let me put Franklin to bed and then I'll come back and explain. Say goodnight guys, see you tomorrow for the last day. Also, I'm freezing tonight. I'm in like winter PJs. I had to like manually try to match different clips towards the end of that podcast. It's like the last, it's the last like four minutes, I think, of episode 36 on YouTube. You might notice some of my mouth and audio doesn't match up. I'm sorry, I fucking tried to fix it. But I'm really annoyed at the studio because that's two episodes now. I recorded two episodes today and those two better be fine. And I will lose my fucking shit if it does the same thing. I've thought this week, maybe I find a new studio. What happened on the weekend and what happened tonight is just not good enough. I want good quality audio. I invest so much of my time and effort and energy into this podcast. But anyway, we're gonna go to bed. I will sleep peacefully tonight because I feel like I got ahead a little bit on the weekly vlog. The potty is done and my pink bag. Oh, we will see you for the last day. Tomorrow we've got a really busy day actually. I feel like this week has been a bit chaotic, but I'm counting down the days till Sam gets back. <laughs> Love you, Sam. Miss you. I know she's watching my vlogs while she's away. She, she watched the other one. She's like, are you going all right? I'm like, yes managing good night and i'll see you on tomorrow i'll see you on tomorrow i'll see you tomorrow all right so chide happy friday happy last day of the vlog it's fucking cold today guys let's go to the gym i need a coffee we have a meeting at 9 30 so as long as i'm back before that we're all good today what the hell guys it's so cold i've actually got this set on today with fucking leggings 
I will head to the gym. I'm probably gonna have to come back, jump straight on the meeting. So I will probably see you when we're having breakfast after all of that. And then we have to go to the vet. We have to take little baby Franklin to the vet. Ending up being quite a rush morning, guys. Workout is done, meeting is done. It went so well. I think we're almost at the final, actual final version of the journal now. And I've got the precious package here, Mr. Little Frank. We're going to the vet now. Please pray for us. I'll see you when we're done at the vet. We're home from the vet. Little Franklin is exhausted after that. I feel so bad, guys. They took him out the back. They scraped the inside of his ear like you can see. They've taken skin off. They plucked out his fur. We have no fucking idea what it is. The vet thinks it might be alopecia. She also thinks it might be allergies. So the test she's running today is just to make sure it's not like fungal or bacterial. She said she doesn't think it is because it's not like pussy. And after this, she'll give me a call today or tomorrow to let me know the results. And then we might have to do an allergy test on little this little guy because he could be allergic to something and i haven't changed his diet i haven't changed his environment i don't really know what the fuck is going on guys but i'm stressed because he's obviously my little baby we also had skin issues when he was about one years old and obviously i wasn't vlogging then we cut out chicken out of his diet because that seemed to be what was causing the flare-ups i changed him to a high fat grain free diet i even tried a raw diet that does not work for him it actually makes him so much more sick the raw diet so i've tried a million things and i like to think i look after him pretty well so i'm just really upset about this and i just want him to feel better because he hates the vet and i hate taking him it's actually like so stress inducing and i know I'm just emotional this week and whatever we're here we're gonna fix it we can only try our best you're right yes thank you i did go past maccas by the way i had two hash browns because i didn't have a chance to have breakfast this morning so that was my breakfast and now we're gonna have lunch i just realized i haven't filmed a second youtube video i've been eating these I'm gonna have to film it tomorrow morning before you see this vlog. <gasps> I wanted to film a, ta a tattoo update this week because that was gonna work best for my schedule. However, mum was meant to go in the office yesterday and she didn't, so she was at home and the house was really loud. Also, I was out for most of the day as well. I couldn't film it yesterday. <gasps> I've got another half an hour worth of work. I'm really happy with what I've done so far. We're on track, guys, we're on track. Then we're gonna start getting ready for Mary fucking Poppins. Showered, fresh hair. I'm gonna quickly get ready and then we'll come back, show you my fit, mum's fit, and we'll, we will head off. I am a bit nervous going out knowing that I still have quite a bit of work to do but I'm just going to try and enjoy it. I set aside all of like tomorrow basically and tomorrow night to do more work. I think I will rewear that blue dress. I was going to buy that dress from Chic yesterday, the one I showed you guys but for tonight but I was like no fuck it you weren't 100% and it's okay to outfit repeat. We're ready. This is really cutting off our... Hello. <laughs> you guys have seen my outfit. Look how cute mum looks. This is the dress we got her last night and her yes. shoes very cute. How excited are you? Very excited. We're going to leave. It's 5.50. We don't know how long it will take to get there. Probably not an hour and 10 minutes, but we don't want to be late. No. So let's go. The city is beautiful tonight, guys. And look, there is the Majesty's Theatre. We just got our tickets. And we're going to go in now. It's the opening night, guys. So it's very packed in here. It's an interval, guys. So we got some snacks, we have some snakes, we have a boysenberry chop top, Maltesers, salt and vinegar chips, and I got a Coke, and mum got a water. Oh. We were so hungry, we were so hungry. And this is the stage, I don't know if I showed you already. We hadn't eaten dinner, no. so this is our like dinner. Starting. We're gonna get Maccas on the way home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was so much fun, guys. We're also in the car park that I got lost in. Do you remember that time where I met Suze out? And then I got lost for like half an hour. This is the car park. Mum, did you love it? I absolutely, absolutely loved it, loved it. I think, How good is it? I think it? I've got us on the right floor for your car. I'm not 100% sure. I said to mum, because when we got here, I was in a frazzle. And I was like, do you remember where I parked? And she's like, yes, level five. I was like, someone was paying attention. I was not paying attention. Is that my car? Yeah, I mean, see? We're in the Macca's drive-thru. <laughs> Guys, they have a Sprite No Sugar. Yay, I'm hungry. What the hell? They've got Sprite No Sugar. Yay, I'm hungry. <laughs> We're starving. <laughs> I asked them for an, ex an extra slice of cheese and they didn't give it to me. No. <laughs> oh my God, and someone... <laughs> what the fuck? Macca's? No, they're good. Oh no. <laughs> and look, they also have Sprite. No sugar, I <laughs> told you. It was so good, Carla. It was great. It was Mary Poppins just in theatre. Did they sing? <clears throat> yeah. They did sing. I don't know if they were singing in real life, though. I asked mum if she thought that 
And she didn't eat, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys. Tonight was so good, my goodness. My sister's watching our TikTok on loud. Why? I hate the sound of my own voice. I tell you, once you edit your own voice for multiple hours a week, the sound of your own voice is not only cringeworthy, but it's fucking annoying. Tonight was the best. I'm so grateful to Meta. It's weird because like they were like, you don't have to post anything. It's unusual for a brand or a company to like send you to do something and then not want like a deliverable. But they were just like, go have fun. So lovely and just like something that an experience like that is something that yes obviously money could buy but it just meant so much that like they paid for our tickets and sent us and I'm grateful to them, I'm grateful to you guys. Mum had so much fun, it was a really good night and I'd recommend going. I don't know how long the show's here for, it opened tonight and it was chef's kiss and I'm tired now, can't wait to get into bed and wrap this vlog up but it was so good, 10 out of 10 night. I've had a shower. I've done my skincare. I'm ready for bed. I was just gonna show you that I had packed up the giveaway prizes, but I realized I'm gonna ship this tomorrow and you guys might be watching my YouTube. So one of them is a Christmas giveaway because the other one got lost. And then another one is the YouTube winner. And there's a voucher in here. There's some jewelry in here. There's some skincare. There's something for her mental health. There's lots of goodies in here for her. For both of them and i'll ship them tomorrow the next giveaway for youtube will be at 20k we're not far off and then i think i'll bring them back to the podcast at some point in february if you can't tell i'm feeling i'm getting things done but certain things are slipping the first one being that second youtube video this week and the giveaways again but i am going to stay on top of it i promise i'm trying my best but i'm going to wrap the vlog good night it is very much my bedtime very much my bedtime i'm gonna try and not stay up late this weekend so we're gonna get into editing early tomorrow smash it all out sunday day i'm busy so i've got to get it all done tomorrow before bedtime that's a saturday problem that's next week's vlog's problem it's not this week's good night guys i love you have a great week be good to yourselves be good to each other do something nice and i hope something magical happens to you good night bye